Welcome back to another episode of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm your host, Susie Selleck, here today in Cincinnati in the gemstone of Cincinnati, Mount Adams. And we are at the City View Tavern. We have an alternative interview today as we are on the phone with owner Deb Henning. Deb, thank you very much for having us here. Thank you for having me there. So, Deb, in, in, let's just clarify with our audience. You are in Florida. You own this beautiful bar with this gorgeous City View. And we want to know, when was City View Tavern established? That's a long story. Um, the building itself went up in 1875. Um, from that point in 1891, a man named Thomas Spain opened a grocery um, in 1901, he added a saloon. In 1906, Bernard Recklinglow purchased the building from Spain. And also he had an employee named George Legeman. And George Legeman rented the upstairs. There were apartments upstairs. Okay. And in 1917, Bernard Recklinglow retired, and he sold his business to George Legeman, who, his family was born upstairs, his children. Okay. Which is interesting, and, you know, which is that time. That's yeah. what hospitals weren't happening. And in 1985, his youngest son, Ted Legeman, sold the business to me. And now it is 2021. Oh, wow. So since 1985, you and your husband, Silas Evans, have, have owned this bar then? Yes. Okay. So you so are you happy that it stayed a saloon and not a grocery store? Oh, yes. Well, when, when I bought it, when we bought it, it was, it had a grocery store in front. Oh, you, oh, the grocery store was still, okay, now that's good clarification. I didn't realize that the grocery store was still the front yes. part. Okay. So yes. then when did it's you, some, go ahead. There, there have been physical changes to the building um, over the years. Okay. As to where there was the saloon, where there was the grocery, um, the fire, that sort of thing. Yeah, Those can you talk. kind of got switched around. I was going to say, why don't we talk about that fire in 1946, and then maybe let's get in to, to, to the restructuring of the building and how it's just now a tavern all the way through. So can you talk right. about that, that fire in 1946? Certainly. Um, it was a grocery. Mount Adams had three sections at the time, uh, the Italians, the Germans, and the Irish. And City View was part of the German neighborhood. And like all small businesses, groceries at the time, at Christmas time, they sold Christmas trees. Yep. And they'd be out front for display, and then in the evening they'd put them up against the side of the building. And, and after Christmas of that year, um, Ted told a cousin who occasionally worked for them to burn the Christmas trees because nobody was going to buy them, and the cousin did. Only Ted did not tell him to remove them from the side of the building. And... It took off the top two floors of what is now City View, and it took out the building next door, which there was a driveway. So that's that's how the restructure came. They did not rebuild the top two floors, nor did they close the business to do the construction. Really? They stayed so, open for business during construction? Yes. Um, and at that time, they moved the saloon to the back part of the building and the grocery to the front. Prior to that, it had been the opposite. The grocery was the large part. Okay. And the saloon was in the front. All right. So the, the saloon's up front now. We got the grocery in the back. And then the fire. And then the fire. And then the grocery came to the front and the saloon went to the back. And also the downstairs was turned into what Ted called a party room. A party room? A party room. And it had, it was chintz draperies and everything. It was glamour. But there were things going on down there that, you know, 
like oh little penny any poker games and things like that. I see. It is now an office. It is now an office. Okay, so it went from a, a party room to an office. So, so Deb, speaking of parties, often I hear the word tequila, and I think there's probably a party following uh, that particular spirit. Um, but I've heard that you guys do not serve tequila here at the City View Tavern. Is that true? That is true. Could you uh, elaborate on why? Well, um, there was a young man who lived down the street, uh, which the building is now unfortunately gone, and his name was Charles Manson. He, uh, Charles Manson was, sounds like a familiar name, Deb. Can you yeah. give us some context to that name really quickly before you go on with the story? Well, um, he, since he's no longer with us, I can say things. He, he is the Charlie Manson of the uh, Manson family fame. Uh, most people don't realize he was born in Cincinnati right? and lived here for a while. So, yes, he lived down the street. And um, at that time, the deck was put on in the late 50s, early 60s, which is where the name City U came from. Yep. And one night, Charlie was in there, and Ted was working, and Charlie had a few shots of tequila, and thought he could fly off the deck. Now, he was prevented from flying off the deck, and Ted took the rest of the bottle of that tequila and poured it down the drain. And said, never again will we have tequila. Wow. And and it has... Go ahead. I was going to say, and so that has just, that's just been a thing ever since, huh? It's been a thing. And a lot of people say, oh, it's just urban legend. But after being in the business as long as I have, and knowing Ted, and hearing from people who were living in the area at that time, it is not a made-up story. Uh, the bar business can be very unique. Oh, yes. And have, yes. Yes, so, it can. Yes, it's it's yes. definitely not an urban legend. Okay. Yes. Well, that, that I am agreeing with you, and that's a former, at 21, I was a Cuervo girl. So I know, oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, Deb. Yes. So. And to be honest, I think there was probably a little more involved in tequila, but that happened before it came in the door. I, yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. So, so Deb, I know that this place, I mean, just Mount Adams in general is loaded with history, but this, yes. but this tavern in particular, I think might have a couple more stories for us. So can you, um, could you, could you think back or could you dig down deep and give us a couple stories that you absolutely love about this place and why it kind of builds into the history of City View Tavern? Well, uh, as I said, the deck was put on late 50s, early 60s. And unlike things are done today, it was, it was constructed over the weekend with several of Ted's friends and a few cases of beer. Um, <laughs> Well, no that's how you get ads. things done. Uh, several yes, cases of beer and a few friends, yeah. yeah that's right. Um, you know, now you just move out and move in and you have somebody with a pickup truck. <laughs> but back then, you could build entire buildings, probably. But that's how they built the deck. And I came to find out later when we went to replace the deck uh, with something a little more substantial that there weren't even any footings or piers under the uprights. They just stuck them in the ground and built up from there. And people thought that deck was going to fall off because it had a slant to it. But now we know why, because it was attached to the building on one side and then on the other, it just sort of was there. Okay. So that, that, uh, that was interesting to find out. And then we used to have... Some occasional visitors come by. Um, Eric Hunsell lived down on Bomb Street, and it was always fun to see him come in after work because he would be dressed in his formal wear of tails, which added a certain amount of class. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and who else? Oh, Bob Huggins. Nice. Was an occasional customer. 
Yay. Uh, Bob, Bob Huggins is, was a guy. I, I went to University of Cincinnati when he was coaching, and if he brought the same amount of energy in here as he brought to to UC, um, I can see why he would have been a hoot to hang out with in here. Yes, yes. And then um, I found out some years ago, unfortunately, I wasn't there at the time, um, probably because I have a different husband, but George Tony used to come in. Huh. And this is back when he went to Northern Kentucky University. Oh. And Mount Adams was one of his haunts, and as well as City View. So if, if I'd been of that age then and known it, I, I would have been there without a doubt. <laughs> you and me both, Deb. You and me uh, both. <laughs> Oh, I think that would have been a fun uh, night for both of us. Yeah, but okay. Oh, yeah. So, so George Clooney has made um, some appearances here. Um, I don't know. Is, it, is does it get cooler after George Clooney? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's uh, pretty oh, cool. we did have. Well, depending on how you look at it on the sports end of it. Um, gosh, I wish I could remember his name. There was a, a sports broadcaster from Cincinnati who moved out to uh, California. And um, he had always come to City View and was, was you know, very much a, a fan of ours. And he, he sent in uh, part of the Oakland Raiders when they were in town to play the Bengals. So oh, so fun. I actually, yes, I actually got to see a Super Bowl ring. Oh, awesome. And they're huge. I don't remember who the players were, but I do remember it was Oakland. It was like, gosh, your eyes are large, and look at the size of that ring. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. So, yeah, we get, you know, just normal people. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a nice crowd in here right now as we are, as we're recording this interview, Deb. So, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Is there anything else that I that I didn't ask you about that you would want to share? I mean, this is just truly a unique piece of real estate. It's clearly an awesome business in Mount Adams. Is there anything that I that I didn't ask you about yet that you would want to share with us? Now, in the '90s, of course, this is this is not that uh, uh, exciting. But there is uh, a, a gentleman has done a drawing of the of the city view. Uh, that came from, oh, the 50s, 60s. And basically, it had been boarded up and, uh, you know, had a few little windows in the door. And it was it was pretty, uh, kind of an intimidating-looking place. Right. And so in the 80s, and this had been my dream for City View, was to take it back to what it had looked like, other than the top two floors. Right. Um, and so... Uh, a customer who had also lived next door, uh, Dave Ross, was an architect. And I said, David, here's a picture of the original city view. Can we take it back to what it looked like? So he came up with the drawings and, you know, the blueprints and everything to make it look like the original city view. The difference being that we didn't paint it white. Oh, but so that, the facade that is there now is what the original building looked like with the, the entrance um, and the, the transom windows and that sort of thing. Very cool. And the big, you know, the big windows in the front. Yes, which are beautiful, which are beautiful. Yes. And they just, they let in all this natural light that just kind of yes. disperses out through the bar and, and, and it's still, it's still perfectly lit like a bar should be, but... Um, yes. Yeah, no, and, and then obviously this view is, is unbelievable. We've been able to enjoy this for a while now. And the window, you were talking about the lights in this at the window when we redid the deck. Yeah. We, we replaced the back window, and that singular, single piece of glass weighs 500 pounds. One single piece of glass weighs 500 pounds? Yes. It took, uh, we had to reinforce underneath you know, where the window was, because it was just like, you know, some sort of plexiglass something. It wasn't very nice. 500 and, um, pounds. And these guys come in, and that was the largest they could make one single piece that was, you know, insulated or whatever they call it, thermal paint. Yep. And, you know, the big suction cups they have? Yeah. Okay, three guys with that come in with this and, and stick it up there. I was like, holy Wow. 500 pound window. But I just, you know, 
Thank you for watching another episode of History in Your Own Backyard here today in Mount Adams, Ohio at the City View Tavern. Deb Henning, thank you so much for being able to be with us for this beautiful interview. Oh, you're more than welcome, thank you. <laughs> and remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and stop, and stop often. often. <laughs> Bye for now. Mm -hmm.